Hello everyone, it's me, Coffee Stitcher. Um, it is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. How's everybody's week? That's really good to hear. Um, sorry my video was late last week. For whatever reason, it didn't actually post. It uploaded, but for some reason it didn't post. So, I, I don't know what happened there. Um, but we've got all sorts of stuff to talk about today. We've got haul, we've got Q&A, um, we've got new starts, we've got mini finishes. Um, so we're just going to dive right on in. We've got haul, of course. Uh, I think I already said that, but I'm saying it again. So... Um, we'll dive in with the Q and A. Um, Deborah Rodriguez says um, that she tried to order with the with the needle and couldn't order the DMC from one two three. So many were sold out. Is it that popular? Disappointed. Um, okay, so I'm not sure I I understand. If you were saying you couldn't find the pattern, I know Lila's Studio is on Etsy under Lila's Studio. And I believe she sells it as both a PDF and a hard copy. And so if it's the pattern you're looking for, you can definitely get it there. DMC, I know because of COVID-19, has been shut down. So a lot of places are low or are experiencing long lag times. Um, Fire Poppies, I believe, has pretty much everything available currently. Um, I don't really ever order from 123Stitch, um, especially since discovering Fire Poppies. So I, I can't really vouch for that there um and i'm sorry you're disappointed that that unfortunately is out of my way out of my power um scroll up uh, youtube is being dumb um as you can see i did get my hair done um my sister-in-law came home briefly to see her mother for Mother's Day, so I wore a mask, she wore a mask, and we got my hair did. Um, so we left it a little longer on the top than I like, but that's okay. We got the sides, and that was really what mattered. Um, Joanne P. asks, who is the designer of Illuminated Manuscript? And it is designed by... Barbara Ann Richter. So that's who designed it. Um, um, hot mess princess, it was, she, my Queen Elizabeth pop was a gift. Um, I don't know if she was one of the more popular ones, so you can probably get her off of eBay, but that's, that's where... Mine was a gift. how slow YouTube is to load sometimes. Um, another sip of coffee while we're waiting. I'm 
so there there is a slight there there's been an addition to the mania plans but you'll see that momentarily come on youtube i'm so sorry y'all i don't i don't know why it's being this stubborn i'm gonna make it back to youtube um all right i've got my tablet here let's see if i can just get them up on my tablet YouTube. My videos. Again. Okay. And now I there we go. Um, Robert Refuse asks, will you be changing Belle's dress in um, Beauty and the Beast like Park Hopper Bart did? He changed hers, went Disney with hers. I'm not. I'm actually going to stick with the pink. Um, I kind of like having fairy tales that don't look like the Disney films. So, like, I like some that are Disney, and I'm all for it. Um, but this one, I, I like that she wasn't Disney. Amy M121 asks, what Q snaps do you use? I have the R and R ones. I've noticed your fabric looks more taut than mine does. I use the name brand Q snaps. Um, for that reason, I just, I think they're the better Q snaps. I've tried a couple of the others and I've just never been as happy with them as I have the name brand. Right, and that I believe is the end of the Q and A, and the web page still hasn't loaded the rest of the Q and A. So forget you, YouTube. I'm done with you. Not true. Don't really. Please don't delete my videos. That would be horrifying. Um, I don't know if there's a YouTube police that watched this sort of thing, but it didn't load. So, all right. So moving right along into the hall. Um, so first, I got a um, Robert of Robert Pal <laughs> Robert's Palaces of Stitches sent me a birthday gift. It's a project bag out of the fabulous Wizard of Oz fabric that I love so much. Um, the inside is lined with Yellow Brick Road fabric. And a little scissors case made out of the same with the coordinating Yellow Brick Road. So I'm very excited to have a project to put into that. I don't currently, but I'm excited. Oh, actually, no, I do. I lied. I completely lied. Ignore me. We'll do that here in a moment. So, I'll just leave um, then I had to order some DMC, well, DMC from Fire Poppies. And I did one round of DMC ordering that, because I was just ordering DMC and I couldn't let it travel alone. I ordered T.A. Smith's My Forest as well, because I thought that was kind of cool and funky. And I know it's stitched in just one color, but I totally want to do it in lots of colors but I thought it was kind of cool and fun. Um, they also included a whole bunch of like the market freebies, um, like the one from the blue flower. So that was kind of, that was a lot of fun. Do, do, do. They have a new website, by the way. It looks really awesome. Um, I think they may still have some bugs working out of it, but it looks really awesome. And then I needed some more DMC, because <laughs> of course I did. Or no, no, this wasn't a DMC order. Then I needed some fabric because I got um, Literary Alice from Bendy Stitches, which is going to be a new mania start as well. So I ordered fabric for it, but of course I couldn't just let fabric travel by itself. So I ordered two pieces of this one. It is Neutral Polka Dot from uh, Fabric Flare. So I ordered that for Literary Alice and for another thing that I can't tell you about yet. Um, 
This is a 32 count. But because I couldn't, you know, let it travel by itself either, because it would be lonely, I ordered from, I ordered the Fairy Wool in the Woods Radish Ghost, which it's a girl harvesting, and there's a radish ghost, and I just loved the name and thought it was hysterical, so that had to come home with me. And then Ghostly Encounters from Stitches Through Time, which I'd never heard of, but I liked as well. And um, it actually came with little orange beads that you need for the eyes. So that was kind of cool. So that was the haul for the week. Boop, boop. Um, and I've decided I'm going to do a general arts conversion of for Literary Alice. So... I have my colors picked for that. All right, so moving right along from there. So that was the haul for the week. Um, so Sunday I had planned, as I think I informed you, that I was going to finish Chinese Zodiac, only to discover I was missing two of the DMCs, which is what prompted the first Fire Poppies order was I needed the two DMCs and I needed some more DMC, some of the DMC for Secret Garden. Um, which I think I've narrowed down my choice. Oh, that reminds me of Secret Garden. I have it narrowed down and I think the one I'm going to go with is going to be this. It's brown sugar from uh, Under the Sea Fabrics. So that's it. Um... I got my remaining DMC for it. I also ordered, because I decided I wanted coordinating bookmarks for my books. Um, so I went on Etsy and found all sorts of things. Um, so I ordered these two bookmarks. It came from howthegal.art. That's her her Etsy store. I shared it on my, my Instagram. But she's a whole series of bookmarks called Fairy Tale Feet. So I got one for The Secret Garden. And it says, magic is, the bring magic is the bringing about of unbelievable things through an obstinate faith that nothing is too good to be true. Francis Hodgson Burnett. Um, and then I also got a Wizard of Oz one, because I could not. And it says, it's the thing we don't expect that usually happens, and Toto's on the back. Um, but she's got prints, she's got all sorts of stuff, um, and it came super cute packaged. Um... So, and fast too. I ordered them Saturday morning and they were here, I think, Tuesday. Um, so she shipped super fast. So I would definitely consider ordering from her again. So that's Secret Garden all ready to go. Um, I had puppy bales. Um,. Silly Phoebe. Um, so I then worked a little on Adventure Awaits, but I'm not going to lie, I had very little, like, stitching mojo on Sunday last week, because I was just like, mm, uh, what I want to work on, I can't. So, but I did get a little bit done. Um, so I got the top outline for the continent of Africa. Um, but I do like this one, so it's one I will definitely be revisiting. Alright, so, um, this week's homework, it was, I'm not going to go through the prompts because they were all over the place, um, and the amount of stitches, so I'm just going to show you what I worked on, as well as what I started, and then we'll talk about next week's homework. Um... So I pulled out, for one of the prompts, I pulled Quaker Oz out, because I needed one that had been taken out of my rotation. So here it is. Boop. Um, and I worked on, obviously down here, I worked on the Yellow Brick Road. So, and that's Lemon Drops from, uh, 
general arts that I'm using for the yellow brick road. So chosen because of the lyric, where troubles melt like lemon drops. And that's what's gonna go in my new bag, which I just had, what, there it is. Da dude. Ta da! All done. Um, let's see, I worked on every season for one of the prompts and got a little over a hundred stitches in, which basically finished all of this light pink that's there and a good portion of the white. Still got some more white to go, but a good portion. Um, the next part comes out on June 1st, so my goal is to get this done by June 1st. Um, I worked on Beauty and the Beast for the Sal you started with somebody else. And I got started in on Belle's dress. So there's the little, it was a light yellow at the bottom and then I got the mid pink. So I think my goal was to do, I think two assignments. So I think I'll probably, probably end up with doing a third assignment, but my goal is to try and finish her this month. Um, Let's see. I worked on Atlantis from Al Forest Embroidery. And I almost got the motif finished. I've just got um, the light blue in the center there and then on this column and then that, that little motif will be done. Um, I worked on Seize the Day, or actually, yeah, so those were, those were the, the non-new starts for the homework. For new starts, I worked on Seize the Day from Hands on Design, um, and I got a good start in on the sale. This is on Silvery Moon from Ship's Manor. I started Night Walks Down, Night Walked Down from the Blue Flower. This is on Demeter's Harvest. And I got her arm, the one color, or the two colors in her bodice, and I got started on her skin. And then, so those were the new starts. And then I did finish part one of Chinese Zodiac. Um, I forget who it was. Someone, I borrowed someone's idea of using the gold, doing the horns on the ox in gold. So I borrowed that idea from them. I saw it on Etsy, or on Instagram. But there it is. So part two comes out on the 15th, which I think is either Thursday or Friday. So that brings me to today is another new start. So I will be starting on um, Palace Theater. Um, so looking looking very forward to starting it. Um, so we'll be starting that after the video and after laundry and all that good stuff. 
Um, this week, I'm supposed to start, I was supposed to originally start Illuminated Manuscript, but I think I'm probably going to start Alice instead, um, and hold on to Illuminated Manuscript for when I need another start a little later on down the road. Um, because it was one, I like it, I really do want to start it, but I'm more excited to start Literary Alice, and I feel like with Mania, it should be what you're really wanting to start. So I'm going to start Literary Alice later this week. For the homework this week, we're supposed to do a thousand stitches and a hundred stitch increments on however many whips we want. So what I'm going to do since last week was sort of a small piecemeal, um, I'm going to definitely work on um, every season and Beauty and the Beast. And I will probably also go ahead and work on um, Night Walked Down and Quaker, or maybe Quaker Oz, maybe Adventure Waits. I'm not really 100% sure which of them I, I'm going to work on, but one of them. Um, but definitely not walk down, because I like it, but I definitely didn't get anywhere near as far as I wanted to on it. So, that's the homework for this week. Um, next week is, I finished reading Three Musketeers last night. Um, the last discussion day is the 17th. And then Secret Garden starts. So on the seventh, so next week I will be starting Secret Garden. Super excited. Um, so yeah. So that's kind of it for me this week. Um, a little bit of a shorter video than I expected it would be, with as much as I did. I must have talked really fast. I also kind of need to go to the bathroom, so that may be it too. So anyhow, um, that was probably TMI. Sorry, y'all. Anyhow, I hope everyone has a great week, um, and I will see y'all next time.